Father gives away his word and his breath And all things are called into being This mystery of love and of life is a gift And is glory beyond human reason And holy, holy, holy is The God of power and might In all of heaven and earth his glory lives Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest Whatever he speaks is worthy to be Pure and blameless and holy Whatever he breathes is lovely indeed Forever reflecting his glory And holy, holy, holy is The God of power and might In all of heaven and earth His glory lives Hosanna in the highest And holy The God of power and might In all of heaven and earth His glory lives Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest Thank you. Okay, you have to sing, okay? Okay, repeat after me. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of power and might. Heaven and earth of your glory are full. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Okay, lovely. Now let's let's set this in context. Now I know you're a bunch of Bible students here, so I probably don't have to tell you this, but this the the, uh, the text is from Isaiah six, and Isaiah. For whatever reason, he gets picked to go on a day trip to heaven and uh, see what goes on there and then come back and tell us, right? It's awesome. And uh, so he, he finds himself suddenly in the throne room of God and there's pillars and there's robes and there's this huge throne and thresholds and there's smoke and everything is shaking like crazy with these angels swirling around the throne of God saying the whole earth is full of God's glory, um, and, uh, which, which I find is instructive um, that, and interesting that in heaven they sing about the glory of God on earth. Um, which just goes to show you that even there the grass is greener on the other side. <laughs> um, but anyways, in holy, 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 the thrice holy hymn, right? I mean, that's what, that's what the Orthodox call it, the thrice holy hymn. And when we join our voice with that, what we're actually doing is we're, we're, we're participating in the reality of the one body of Christ that we sing that song with all the angels, all the saints, now. This is not something we will do eventually when we get to heaven. That's something we do now. There's one body of Christ. There's not one in heaven and one on earth. That'd be two. There's one. So this is the company we keep. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all these wacky kind of angels and weird creatures and Mary and Rebecca and my grandpa um, and several folks you can't see anymore that are still part of the company we keep. It's really incredible. So... Think of the company and the, the, the royalty um, and the regality of it all and sing holy, holy, okay? Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might. 
heaven The heaven and earth of your glory are full Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest again Holy, holy, holy Lord God of power and might The heaven and earth of your glory are full Hosanna Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Listen, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Sing holy. of your glory are full Hosanna 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 in the high Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Again, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Sing holy Holy, holy, holy Lord Heaven and earth of your glory are full. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the high. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna in the highest. All right. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll teach you one more, then I'll leave you alone. Okay. Praise the Father, praise the Son. Praise the Spirit, three in one. Who was and is and is to come. All praise and honor and glory and power, oh, praise his name forever. <laughs> okay, it's a little early. I'm just, I'll sing it with you. All praise and honor and glory and power, oh, praise his name forever. A song like this is just so important uh, that every time we gather, we acknowledge who God is as Trinity. I think it's the one thing that Christians have to offer the world that would change everything if we ever actually got it. But that God is not some lonely mono being at the center of the universe that created out of some bizarre need to be worshipped or not alone anymore. But that God has always existed in a relationship of mutual othering, of joy and um, mutuality uh, that's ecstatic. Um, and I have a feeling that we were probably not created out of need, but maybe out of excess. Maybe the joy of the, of the love of the Father for the Son and the Son for the Father. I, I'm not quite sure. This, I think the Spirit just kind of loves the love or something. But it's... it's um, <laughs> Um, and I, I think what happened in that, at a certain point is that God just so got so overwhelmed with joy that he had to externalize. I'm a songwriter. Uh, it, what happens with me is something happens in my life, whether it's a happy thing or a sad thing or, a, or an idea, and it starts percolating here. And the artist's impulse is to take what's in here and externalize it. You have to. Like, you can't keep it here. Just, you, have, you put it out, you know. And so I think what happened is that this joy um, got to a boiling point. And God had to externalize and went, bam, and there was a walrus, you know, um, <laughs> you know, and then he went, oh, uh, we better cover that with water, you know, and then uh, other things. And, um, and, 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 and because of who God is, that God is an actual dynamic relationship within God's very self, that God being the good song that he is actually created a song that reflects who he is, right? And, and this is it. We're the expression of joy and, and mutuality. Um, and so that when we acknowledge who God is as Father, Son, Holy Spirit, that mutual othering, that dynamic relationship that created everything, when we acknowledge that, we also acknowledge how we've been created and the sort of the rational logic.
the dynamic rational relational logic that separate that connects us to one another and to fields and streams and birds of the air and through Christ back to the Holy Trinity. This is what this is about, right? So sing with me. Praise the Father, praise the Son, praise the Spirit, three in one, who was and is and is to come. All praise and honor and glory and power, oh, praise His name forever. Is the one to whom you belong. No, 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 no. no. It, uh, okay, no, it's my time now, okay? <laughs> back off. I will call you back in when it's your time, okay? So, okay, so let's, 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 let's bring the mood back. It was all awesome until you guys did that. And, um, um, okay, okay. Who is the one to whom you belong? Who in your weakness has made you strong? And who fills your heart with joyful song? Well, it is the Lord your God. So sing. Praise the Father, praise the Son, praise the Spirit, three in one, who was and to come all praise and honor and glory and power all praise his name forever now listen and who is the one whom for you died was mocked and spat at and crucified who rose from the dead and is glorified well, it is the Lord your God, so sing. Praise the Father, praise the Son, praise the Spirit, three in one, who was and is and is to come. All praise and honor and glory and power, oh, praise His name. the one whom with you will be from highest mountain to darkest valley who is the one whom in you dwells well it is the lord your god sing praise the father praise the son praise the spirit three in one who was and is and is to All praise and honor and glory and power, oh, praise His name forever. Stick your thumb up in the air and say, God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit. They are three, but they're one. Jesus Christ is fully human and fully divine. And this is a mystery we seek to understand with all of our mind, all of our heart, and all of our strength. Amen. That's an awesome prayer, isn't it? Did you, I, I guess you didn't come to Biola to learn the Eastern Orthodox sign of the cross, but <laughs> you just did. <laughs> Let's do that again. It's just, you know what? Um, it's, um, uh, I was brought up in a, in a Baptist tradition. I come from an evangelical um, uh, faith uh, base. That is my faith. Um, uh, but but in, in, in my own life, sometimes I, I need symbols because I just can't even access what's going on in my heart and soul. And I often get in a situation, I don't know how to pray. I don't know what to pray. I have no clue what concerns God really or how to deal with the situation. And this is all I've got, you know. And it, it can be sometimes just a beautiful thing. Do it again. God the Father... God the Son, God the Spirit, they are three, but they're one. And Jesus Christ, fully human and fully divine, and this mystery we seek to understand with all of our mind, 
all of our heart and all of our strength. Amen. Thank you for participating. Okay, I'll sing you. Um, do you guys like celtic -y kind of music? Yes. <laughs> That'd be a yes then? Okay, this is, this is a lovely song written by, uh, there's a great songwriter up in Canada. Her name is Gail Salmon. She's a great friend of mine. And uh, she, she borrowed the lyrics from, uh, a, a lot of us up there, we, 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 there's a bunch of us that spend a lot of time borrowing lyrics from uh, ancient poetry, most, from dead people. And because um, you don't have to share your royalties, um, which is uh, important. And, um, um, but this is, uh, the, the, the text of this comes from St. Patrick's breastplate, and I think St. Patrick, we figure he, he, um, he wrote this, but we're not for sure, of course, but it's, um, a, it's called Lorica, and the, uh, the uh, Lorica is a Roman armament that's like a metal t-shirt, and when you wear it, you're protected in the front and the sides and the back, so a prayer of this Lorica is a sort of this surround sound kind of prayer, and, um, and this is just a beauty here, it goes like this. I bind unto myself today The gift to call on the Trinity The prayers and prophecies of saints Oh, I got the wrong words there. Okay. I bind unto myself today The gift to call on the Trinity The saving faith where I can say Come three in one, oh, one in three. Be above me as high as a noonday sun. Be below me the rock I set my feet upon. Be beside me the wind on my left and right. Be behind me, oh, circle me with your truth and light. La da 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 I bind unto myself today The love of angels and seraphim The prayers and prophecies of saints The words and deeds of righteous men Be above me as high as a noonday sun Be below me the rock I set my feet upon Be beside me the wind on the left and right be behind me, oh, circle me with your truth and might. La da 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 God's ear to hear me, God's hand to guide me, God's might to uphold me, God's shield to hide me against all powers deceiving against my own unbelieving whether near or far I bind unto myself today the hope to rise from the dust of earth the songs of nature giving praise To Father, Spirit, living Word Be above me as high as a noonday sun Be below me the rock I set my feet upon Be beside me the wind on my left and right Be behind me, oh circle me with your truth and light La da 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 La da 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 I bind unto myself today the gift to call on the Trinity. Thank you. It's a great song, eh? My, my own are lesser than that. 
Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. Can you repeat after me? Na 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 na. And then na 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 na. And then we go a bit deeper. Na 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 na. And finally, na 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 na. I wrote that. So. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's why I mostly do other people's songs. But, um, uh, uh, and that's also as close as uh, we Baptists get to tongues. So it's kind of a... Um, uh, <laughs> it's a gesture, okay, to the other side, you know. Uh, but there's, there's another part of the song which comes from scriptures from Isaiah... 40-ish, I think. Um, I always get really stressed out with uh, you know, direct Bible references. It's, it's a carryover from trauma in my past when my parents used to send us to these uh, Bible camps where the whole measure of your worth was how many memory verses you could memorize in a week. It was unbelievable. And my sister used to come home with 300 stars, you know, and I'd, I'd come home with two um, every year for the same verses, which were Jesus wept and... Um, <laughs> And the, uh, the other one was longer. Well, yeah, for God so loved the world. You know that one? And, uh, and there was one year where I branched out to a third one, um, and I didn't get a star, which I thought was very unfair. It was, I think, Proverbs 5.19, may, may your wife's breasts satisfy you always. <laughs> and, uh, it's scripture, right? I should have got a star, I think, right? And so ever since then, as soon as we get into this Bible memory verse stuff, I'm just, I'm, I, it's, there's a justice issue for me, and, and I just stress out, okay? So, um, so uh, I, I think this is Isaiah 40, and then when we get to the, 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 um, the uh, na-na-na part, sing along, and uh, for charismatics, just do whatever you want at that point. Okay, so... <laughs> As we hope in the Lord, we will gain our strength. We will run four miles, we will stand up straight. We will not grow weary, we will not grow faint. On the wings of an eagle, we will rise. As we hope in the Lord, we will gain our strength. We will run four miles, we will stand up straight. We will not grow weary, we will not grow faint. On the wings of an eagle we will rise. On the wings of an eagle we will rise. On the wings of an eagle we will rise. On the wings of an eagle we will rise. Sing this part. Na 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 Two more. Na 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 For the Lord who is God calls his people not to be afraid as they journey the road hand in hand we'll be walking with the lord our god on the wings of an eagle we will rise as we hope in the lord we will gain our strength we will run four miles we will stand up straight we will not grow weary we will not grow faint on the wings of an eagle we will rise on the wings of an eagle we will rise on the wings of an eagle we will rise for our hope is found in the power of god on the wings of an eagle 
On the wings of an eagle we will rise. Okay, your part. Na 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 na. 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 On the wings of an eagle we will rise. On the wings of an eagle we will rise For our hope is found in the power of God On the wings of an eagle we will rise On the wings of an eagle we will rise On the wings of an eagle we will rise On the wings of an eagle I should t tell a little bit about myself, I suppose. Um, are there, how many Canadians have you got out there? A few? Unbelievable, awesome. Okay, I come from, I come from Winnipeg, which is dead center uh, prairie. Do you know, have you guys seen the movie um, Fargo? Okay, we're just, we're just a couple hours north of that disaster, um, uh, if you drive. And it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's prairie town and cold in winter and really hot in the summer. I left a couple days ago when it was uh, about minus 30. <laughs> Um, um, degrees with snow about this high, and so um, I'm, let me just say I'm really pleased to be here. And uh, I phoned home to my wife the other day, and I was, I, was, I was trying to downplay how lovely it is down here. She says, don't lie to me. She says, I know what's going on down here. But um, God, we have uh, my wife Nancy and I, we've been together some 27 years, I think. And we have, uh, thank you. And listen, you know what? Okay, I'm going to tell you something about this right now. I don't, I'm not smug at all about my marriage. There's, there's many times it probably would have not have lasted had people who loved us not stuck their noses in our business when they sensed something was going wrong. That's just true. Uh, we have been saved by friends, you know, who, who saw it as, as, as their right to care for our marriage, <laughs> whether we asked or not. Listen, this is, a, listen, this is very interesting. Um, in the, in the, in the uh, theology of the Eastern Orthodox Church, they say that there's only really two major vocations that any individual will pick in their whole life, two major ones. One is the married life, and one is the single life, and both are considered martyrdoms. <laughs> Whichever one you pick, you're going to die, right? So, and, um, and the reason why you have a church um, uh, wedding isn't because God can't bless vows on a beach by yourself. Of course God can. God can honor all that kind of stuff. The reason is, is because they say whichever one you pick, both of them are far too difficult to do on your own, and you need the support of the church. And in the Eastern Orthodox, at least on the books, I don't know if they practice this, but at least in the books, if a, if a couple gets divorced, it's considered the fault of the congregation, not the couple, because they weren't paying attention, right? Interesting. And the whole church goes through a time of repentance over the loss of this thing that they were given charge of caring for. Isn't that interesting? Very Trinitarian. We belong to one another, right? We absolutely belong to one another. You guys, I think, are going to do something for Haiti tomorrow. And I know I was talking to Greg, and you're kind of thinking of, as a, as, a, as a body here, what do we do? How do we respond? Don't do it for them. Do it for us. This isn't about them. This is about us. We have been created after the image of God, who's a dynamic unity of persons. And we can't possibly be whole. I have no idea who Steve Bell is without you. And you have no idea who you are without me. It's function of design, and it's patterned after the one that we worship. Praise the Father, praise the Son, praise the Spirit, three in one, right? So, I mean, all those things. Uh, and, and our marriage has been, um, uh, uh, for the most part, a good one, I think. And, 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 uh, and it's because of, of folks that understood that and paid attention to us. And mercifully, we're still together. And we have three lovely kids. They're all grown. My, uh, my, my oldest daughter um, has um, uh, a little uh, baby boy. I'm a grandfather. Uh, and his name is Luca Giardino. Apparently, he's Italian. 
And, um, and then uh, she just had another little baby boy a month ago whose name is Pax. P-A-X. It's kind of like Pax Giardino. So he's just a, he's got back fat, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. Like the first little guy, like Luca, he's just a skinny little guy, like, and he's, he's a year and a half, and he's hilarious. He's one of the funniest guys. But he was born skinny. He's, he's still really, really skinny. And, and um, except for this kind of little distended when a one and a half year old belly, you know, that belly that little kids have? But Pax, this kid is just butter, right? <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> um, he's got back fat. We laid him on his stomach and we kind of rolled his back into these, it kind of looks like, you know, a package of sausages, you know, like <laughs> wieners. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> um, um, and then I've got a, I've got a, a 23-year-old son, Jesse, who is a recording engineer. Uh, he's working out in Vancouver. And I have a, a, a 20-year-old son still at home. He's rock and roll, this guy. He's playing all the nightclubs. I, same stage as I played at 30 years ago. I'm going, and I, now I go see my son play in the bars I played in 30 years ago. Same exact stages, same rooms, same furniture, same carpets. They haven't cleaned them since I was there. It's just it's unbelievable. So it's a kind of a trippy thing at this age of my life to be a grandfather and watching my son play, and it's, it's neat. It's really wonderful. Um, growing old is it's okay, um, and I'm kind of getting there, and, and uh, I mean, some things are better than others. I don't like the, you know, I'm starting to need glasses, and I hurt where I didn't used to hurt, and, um, you know, there's hair where there didn't used to be hair, and losing it where there used to be hair, and, and all that kind of stuff. That all goes on as well. Um, but it's good. It's, it's, it's good to be surrounded by uh, believers and faith people who help us grow and mature um, and develop our, uh, our um, connection to God in a way that ends up being life-giving for other people in the world. It's just, it's a good thing. And uh, I'll do this song for you. This is a, um, I, I took this from a, um, um, an ancient poem of uh, St. Francis of Assisi. Are there any Francis fans here? You got to get into this guy. I think this guy could be a saint for our time, um, really. Um, he's a lover of beauty, lover of nature, um, a lover of language, uh, who's a great poet, um, lover of the poor, lover of the rich, lover of the church. Um, he, he, just, he was just a, he was a bit nutty, um, but, uh, but still there was a passion in that guy that we still sing about today. And uh, I, I discovered this poem in an ancient... Um, in, in an old sort of uh, obscure book, and I'd never seen it before. I thought I knew all of his works, but I hadn't seen this one. And the language took my breath away. Like language is, um, we're losing um, beautiful language in our time, which is unfortunate because you need beautiful language to speak about excellent things. And if we lose poetry, um, we lose access, I think, to the most important, most excellent, most beautiful things. And so we need to, to uh, fight for it, I think, in our time. Um, this is called Ever Present Need. Darkness is an unlit wick. A simple spark would vanquish it. Truly, I could burst to flame every time you call my name. Do I do for you the same? And God is like a honeybee Penetrates the soul of me Dearly draws the sweetness in Nectar of the meek love is He in me and I in Instruments of soul set free For don't the caged ones weep In our ever-present need of thee Grant we fathom peace Fashion instruments of soul set free For don't the caged ones weep Sometimes sober, sometimes bliss 
Every union knows of this But I have stood here in his reign And bear the marks of fertile plains Swelling streams and swollen grain And so will I console the fall Of cheerless creatures great and small what of sadness can endure when love divine makes insecure the crowing claims of shame's allure? In our ever present need of thee, grant me fathom peace. Fashion instruments of soul set free, for don't the Cased ones we in our ever present need of thee grant me fathom peace fashion instruments of soul set free for don't the caged ones we oh don't the caged ones we Thank you. Okay, I think I got I got time for one more. Um, are there any John Michael Talbot fans here? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. I I wrote this next one. <laughs> no. <laughs> John Michael. He's um. This next song. I'll close this. This is a worship song. This is uh. This is the text is the Magnificat, which is the words of Mary, trying to explain to her cousin Elizabeth that she was created to house the fullness of heaven, which is fundamentally the dignity of all human beings, that that's what we're all created for. Um, that we, upon reception of the invitation of God, receive into our very womb the life of God, and we carry that and bear that as gift to the world. It's stunning. It's a stunning concept. And anything less than that is beneath your dignity. That's what you're created for. And she burst into this incredible song. This song changed my life. I played bars for about 10 years. Um, had no idea when I quit what I was going to do with myself. Didn't think I'd do this. And I walked into um, a church service one morning, and this song was playing as, as um, prelude music. And I went, that's what I want to do. So I'll sing it for you in closing, and then after that, you're, you're welcome to take off. Um, uh, join me, please, in the chorus. It's very simple. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord And my spirit exalts in God my Savior For He has looked with mercy on my lowliness And so my name can be forever exalted for the mighty God has done great things for me and his mercies will reach from age to age and hold
voice of the Lord And my spirit exalts in God my Savior For He has looked with mercy on my loneliness And so my name Exalted for the mighty God has done great things for me, and his mercies will reach from age to age. Sing and hold. hope you enjoyed this message. Biola University offers a variety of biblically centered degree programs ranging from business to ministry to the arts and sciences. Learn more at biola.edu.